Hi Leos, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up. If you would like a personal reading, how you can purchase one is down in the description box, okay? So, we're going to see, Leo, who is your person doing black magic on you, and if so, why, okay? So, let's see. Is Leo's person, Spirit Guides, Angels, Universe, doing black magic on them? And if so, why? Is Leo's person doing black magic on them? And if so, why? Let me fix this. Is Leo's person doing black magic on them, Spirit Guides, Angels, Universe? And if so, why? Is Leo's person doing black magic on them, Spirit? If so, please tell us why. Is Leo's person doing black magic on them? Is Leo's person doing black magic on them? We have the Nine of Cups. Okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Is Leo's person doing black magic on them, Spirit? Is Leo's person doing black magic on them? Come on, man. Is Leo's person doing black magic on them, Spirit? Is Leo's person doing black magic? Let's see. Let's go with these cards. We have the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. We have the Four of Cups, Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Wands. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Cups, Eight of Cups. So, somebody that you could have from your past that you walked away from or walked away from you. We have the Justice here with the Page of One. They want to come in and, and restart things up with you here, Leo. Okay, Nine of Cups being the first card out. They find you to be very much a wish fulfillment. Somebody could also be drinking heavily here. Okay. But they find you to be very abundant, very much a wish fulfillment, very fun. They want to take you out for drinks. They want to have fun with you. They, I'm hearing they think you have a very young spirit. Very much fun, okay? This person has taken forever here with this Knight of Pentacles to come in with this offer. The slowest moving night of, in the deck. But the thing about it is, is that it's stable, though. It's a serious, stable um, offer, but it just takes forever to come in. But with the Knight of Wands, the fastest moving night in the deck, I feel like they want to speed things up here. Okay, and they're going from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. So somebody wants to grow up, but they're, you know what I'm saying? They want to, they, they, they're going after what they want and they're coming in swift and fast. It could be Sagittarius energy here. Okay, you don't have any major arcanas here, just minor, okay? But somebody here is very much celebrated, very much beautiful, vibrant, fun, very young, Knight of Pentacles. Someone smells good. Their skin looks good. They just, they're, they're very intellectual, very smart, okay? Very abundant. They have abundance all around them. A lot of you could be eating a lot of grapes here is what I'm hearing, okay? Drinking a lot of smoothies, all right, okay? Or you could be picking fruits from your garden is what I'm hearing, all right? Um, some of you could be growing watermelons. I don't know why I'm hearing grapes or watermelons or eating a lot of watermelons or something, all right? But with the Queen of Swords, um, yeah, it could be Libra energy. Somebody here wants to communicate. They want to speak some kind of truth to you here, all right? They're coming in fast with the Eight of Wands, with this communication, or this could be you, Leos, all right? But Leo, you, you're the king of wands, so you're standing very much in your power. Somebody is very, very beautiful or, or handsome. It could be either or, but somebody is single here, unencumbered. They're living their life. They have a lot of abundance around them, a lot of happy, happiness. And with the nine of cups, that's not, that's not only being single with the nine of pentacles, but it's being happily single, comfortable, enjoying life. They look good. They smell good. Their home is taken care of. They're very, very sexy. Okay, somebody here is very, very highly attracted to you as well, Leo. They're coming in quick with this Knight of Wands to the King of Wands to the Eight of Wands. They know what they want, and it's you. They want to communicate some truth to you. Seven of Cups in reverse. I feel like if this person was confused, they're no longer confused. The only thing they may be worried about is you rejecting their offer with the Four of Cups. Okay, 
some of you may some of you may not want this offer because this person took so long to come in with the Knight of Pentacles. And they took so long and then just out of the blue that they're speeding things up swiftly with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. But they're coming in as a king though. Okay? They're coming in as a king of wands. King of wands, they know what they want. Action oriented. They could be a business owner, somebody that is very, very athletic. They, okay, they keep up with their body. They could even be an athlete, okay? But this person is coming in towards you, serious, all right? Because the Knight of Pentacles is a knight, but he's very, very stable. His offer is very serious, and it's very methodical. He's thought about this for quite some time. The Knight of Wands is the only one that I see, the only knight that's really a player-type energy. But I feel like it's more not, I don't feel player energy around this. I feel like more it's just, the passion that this person has for you. Them coming in so swiftly and so quick because they carry so much passion for you. If there was different cards that surrounded this Knight of Wands, then, then I would say it was more player energy, like the Seven of Cups or the Five of, I mean the Seven of Swords or the Five of Swords. Then I would be like, yeah, they playing. But with these cards, with the Knight going into the King, I mean straight from the Knight to the King of Wands, somebody here... They may be coming in very fast towards you, but once they get there, they're serious, okay? They want to, um, if you're single and free and unencumbered, they want to make an offer to you, okay? For some of you, 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 you know, this person coming in sexy as hell and everything, and they want to make this offer, but although they're coming to you and want to talk to you and spend time with you or take you out or whatever, you still need to be sure that this person is not coming in and then leaving right back out. Because the Knight of Wands can represent that too. Okay, I don't see cups of, um, I see cups here, but no cups of love. I'm finna verify, I'm finna, well, as soon as I said that, the two of cups were sticking out. So I was about to say, this person does love you. It's not just about coming in swiftly or sex, because they are very much attracted to you with these wands. The king of wands and the knight of wands. But I don't feel like it's just about that. I feel like they want, it could be a Sagittarius for sure. I feel like this person really wants to come in and communicate something with you. They find you to be very, very intelligent, very smart. Somebody here is a business owner as well. Okay, very independent. They work hard, okay? This is pre-Empress energy, nine of pentacles. This person worked for everything they have around them. Very successful, very much a wish fulfillment. They're very abundant. Everything they get or wish for it or want, they get it. Okay, this person has a lot of good karma around them. Okay, what's the messages for my Leos? I don't feel like there's black magic being done here. What's the messages for my Leos? Is Leo's person doing black magic? And if so, why? Is Leo's person doing black magic? And if so, why? Still? Okay, what's the nine of cups for my Leos? 808 on the clock, that's the number of abundance. Yeah, justice could be a Libra, okay? Yeah, this person is very abundant. They have very good karma on their side. But the Nine of Cups and the Justice, that's getting wishes fulfilled because this person has, they've done the work. They're a good person. They stay to themselves. They work. They work on themselves. They don't focus on other people. They don't wish bad on other people. They just do them. Yeah, they're the hermit. This person could also be celibate. Okay, they don't do anything but work. If they do date, because the Nine of Pentacles dates, and the King of Wands dates and the Nine of Cups, they go out on, if they do date, it's, that's what it is, a date. Okay. So yeah, here go the Nine of Cups again. Okay. But they, they go drink. They may have fun every now and then. They may have a friend that they even like or kick it with. But as far as doing too much, I don't see this person doing all that. With the Justice and the Queen of Swords, we have the King of Swords here and the Hermit. Somebody could, it's like, yeah, they focus on, on building themselves more than anything. Okay, very much so. What is the, what is the Knight of Pentacles for my, okay, yeah, look at this. So we're going from the um, page to the Ace of Pentacles. So this person was, we're going from the Knight to the page to the Ace of Pentacles. So this person went from a page to a knight to the Ace of Pentacles. So they want to offer you this. And they have wanted to for a long time with the moon. This person has been holding back how they feel. The moon and the star with the Ten of Cups. You know what I'm saying? This could be um, a very deep, deep soulmate connection here. Okay? 
the star to the moon, okay? With the Ten of Cups. A lot of happiness around this relationship. Somebody has a gift for someone, too. They thought about this gift and this offer to this person for a long time. Remember, the Page of Pentacles, for me, is the only page that promises to become a king. And they are going to the Knight of Pentacles. But they have something that they want to give you here, for sure. It could be a Scorpio. All right? What's the Knight of Wands? The Magician. Okay? So, yeah, this person's been manifesting you. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to end all, be all with you. Yeah, Three of Cups, Six of Cups. The death, this could be a Scorpio from your past that wants to come in that's very much in love with you here. Okay? They want to reconcile. They want to take you out. They want to spend money on you. They want to give you gifts. They want to treat you the way that you deserve here. Okay? Definitely could be a Scorpio with the Tower card. Okay? They want to travel towards you. All right? This person could also be out in the cold or not doing so well, and they want to come towards you. All right. All right. What's the king? What's the king of wands? What's the king of wands? We have the queen of cups in reverse. Wow. The queen of cups in reverse. Somebody very, very uh, manipulative here. Somebody very much manipulative. They have an evil streak. We have the six of cups here. So this could be someone from their past that they're walking away from here. Somebody has an evil streak, somebody that is emotionally manipulative, somebody that drinks a lot, somebody that plays dirty, the Queen of Cups in reverse or the King of Cups in reverse, okay? Period, point blank. And then we have the King of Cups upright that flipped out on top of the Nine of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. So this person could have been in a relationship here uh, with a... um could be in a relationship here because we have two queens all right because we have the but this queen of cups this king of cups is looking over at this queen of swords so this king of cups this scorpio wants to be with this this uh this queen of swords here he's looking over at her he's not looking at the person that he could possibly be with here this queen of cups has become very manipulative very jealous very hateful okay Because maybe this person knows, because the water signs are very intuitive. Maybe this person knows that this, this person wants to move towards you, Leo. Okay? Yeah. So there's going to be some kind of shift that happens here that's meant to happen. Okay? It's karmically meant to occur with the Justice card. It's heavy Libra energy that's going on here. What's the Queen of Swords? What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, Six of Swords. This person wants to move towards this. Yeah, the Will of Fortune. Okay, this is destined to happen for this person to move toward this, this air sign here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups in reverse. Tell me about this Queen of Cups in reverse. Tell me about this Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the Star card in reverse. Okay, and then we have the Nine of Wands here. So it's a lot of irritation. Somebody's very frustrated, maybe with this this energy here. Okay. This person can have abandonment issues that they're with. Okay, very much so. Yeah, we have the chariot on top of the seven of cups. And what's the four of cups? What's the four of cups? Okay, yeah, the three of cups. And then what's the eight of wands? Yeah, the Four of Wands. So this person wants to, yeah, the Knight of Wands again. This person is rushing in with the Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands swiftly to come towards you here. To, to speak some truth or to say something. They want to travel towards you. They want to move on from, from something that they feel stuck in. And they want to go towards something else. Just period, point blank. Okay. There could also be a divorce going on between two people or a breakup. Somebody's realizing that they'd rather be somewhere else. I don't see black, I don't feel black magic going on here. What's the messages for my Leos? Give me one significant card for Leo, please. Oh, there it is. Ancient shit is cool. You need some fucking yoga in your life. So, yeah, some of you could be doing a lot of yoga um, 
trying to balance yourself out, You're going to the spa a lot, I'm hearing. Okay, drinking a lot of smoothies, just really getting um, into health and fitness with this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, going to the, the to the gym a lot. Yes, it says move the fuck on, time to let go. So yeah, it's time for somebody to move on and move towards someone else or do something different or just be single, whatever. And it says get after that shit. The world has your back. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. And then vulnerability is hot as fuck. Drop the fucking ego. So somebody here needs to be vulnerable. Go towards this person. The universe is backing this person in, in this decision to go toward this person. This person's got to make the decision to do it, though. Okay? Period. Point blank. So those are the messages I have for you, um, Leo. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. Okay? See you guys later.